Hey everyone, it's Anthony. We're here in the Touchboards Command Center to show you a brand new board from Promethean. Uh, this is the AB6T88. Uh, this is an 88 inch wide, uh, 16 by 10 widescreen board. Uh, it's also available in a 78 inch 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And both of those are available with and without dry erase surfaces. This one is not dry erase. Uh, add a D onto the end of the part number, D for dry erase and that'll give you the dry erase version. Uh, the price for either one's the same. Uh, but this is the, the newest touch sensitive board from Promethean. They're one of the most well-known and sought after names in the interactive whiteboard world. Primarily, they've had pen-driven boards, so touching the board wouldn't actually do anything. You needed to use a pen. Uh, then they came out with boards that were dual mode, where you could have a pen or touch, either one. And now they have a board that is purely touch. Uh, this is a six point touch board, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but just want to go over some of the finer points of it. Uh, this is an infrared board, uh, so it requires very light touch. Uh, all you have to do is just hover your finger over it and you can get it to respond. Uh, that means it's great for anyone, uh, small children, uh, people that can't really press hard on it for whatever reason. Uh, you can also use stylus on here. Uh, with no problem. In fact, it actually comes with two styluses. Uh, these are just soft tip plastic stylus. Uh, they do have some weight to them. There is a piece of metal in there, or actually I should say there's a magnet in there. And there's actually a piece of metal on this side of the trim. Uh, so they'll just stick to the trim. You don't have to worry about a pen tray. You don't have to worry about losing your stylus. But of course it's an option. You can just use your finger to work the board. So in addition, this board is USB powered. There's a USB cable that plugs in right here in this corner, and that USB goes back to your computer. It gets power from the computer, so there's no power cord required. Our computer is behind the board right now, which is why you don't see it. Also, you'll need a projector. That's right here. I know you can't really see it in the video, but it is there. That's why you see a shadow when I put my hand real close to the board. Uh, so you will need a projector for this. Just so you, you are aware, I had to throw together a system out of what I had here at the office. Uh, it doesn't quite fill the board as much as it should, but when we put together a package for you, it will. It'll be all the right components and it will look great. Uh, so aside from the board and the styluses and everything that I showed you, you also get a single license of Active Inspire software. This is the Active Inspire desktop. This is the part number for the board we're looking at right now. Uh, I mentioned this is a six-point touch board. It's also multi-touch compatible. So what that means is you could actually have six people writing on it at the same time. There you go. Six lines drawn across it, and I picked my finger up, which is why I see a dot there. Um, but you could actually have multiple people writing on this simultaneously. Uh, it is also multi-touch, so you can do zooming and gesturing, scroll up and down just by using your fingers. This software is uh, equally at home in both education or business environment. Uh, this setup right here, the way you see it, is kind of the default. Uh, there's a toolbar that can be moved around, and you have all your features on this toolbar, including your pen tools, your highlighters, erasers, uh, new page, go back to the old page. There's even a mode to draw over your computer desktop. So whatever you have on your desktop, you can now draw on top of it, like so. And just by tapping on that button, you go back into the Active Inspire workspace. Uh, one of the really cool features here, uh, it's going to be real hard to see on camera, but there's sort of different user setups. So for languages or mathematics or media, they change some of the tools on this toolbar. Uh, so mathematics, for instance, you'll see shape drawing tools and number lines, compass, and things like that. Uh, in addition, this whole thing is fully customizable however you want. And frequently used tools do show up on the side here, so they'll be easy to access. I mentioned that this is great for both school and business applications. Uh, if you have early childhood classrooms, kindergarten, first grade, things like that, you can go into the configuration screen and you can ask it to launch using the primary look and feel. Uh, so you actually have to close out of the software to do that, which I'm going to do here. 
and then I'm going to show you what it looks like in the alternate setting or the primary look and feel. All right, so here's our Active Inspire workspace in primary mode. Uh, as you can see, it's a little more colorful, it's a little cartoonish icons. Uh, it's made for young children. Everything is the same though. You have the same tools, the same functionality. Uh, whether you're in primary or not, this toolbar can be moved. It can be docked on the sides, the top, bottom. Basically put it wherever you want it so you're most comfortable. Uh, you can create slides, you can create lessons in this software. In addition, you can go to Promethean's website and you can do it right from the board because you have an on-screen keyboard. This is just the Windows keyboard that we're using, uh, but you can use that to go to Promethean World. Uh, I'm sorry, Promethean Planet, actually. Promethean Planet is their resource site for teachers. Uh, so when you can pull up Promethean Planet and you can access blogs and forums. You can see what other users are saying, maybe get some advice from them and help. There's resources here. And this is the resource page. As you can see, just the different types of resources, different grade levels, subjects. There are over 96,000 resources available on this website. They're all free to access, just gotta sign up for it. And you can do that when you get your Promethean board. And you can then import all of that into Active Inspire and use it in your class. One last thing I wanna tell you about is uh, ClassFlow software. ClassFlow software is something that you can incorporate into Active Inspire but it's a free software that Promethean provides. You can create lessons in ClassFlow and you can push them out to students' device. iPads, Android tablets, smartphones, doesn't matter what it is. Basically anything with an internet connection can see this lesson. They can contribute uh, documents, pictures, contribute to the lesson itself. You can see it up on the main screen. Basically anyone in the world with an internet connection can be part of a lesson using ClassFlow. And that's totally free and included with your Promethean. Just gotta sign up for it. So if you have any questions for us about the Promethean board, or if you'd like us to configure a board and projector system for you, just give us a call at 866-942-6273.